we're a partner-led company. The first thing we did as a new company is we said, we're going to take 30% of that business that we're doing direct, and we're going to move it to the channel. That's exactly what we did. We were 80% with and through the channel at the beginning of this year. By the end of this year, we will be 87% with and through the channel. You are an extension of us, and thank you for all you do. We're investing more than $1 billion per year in channel enablement and rewards, certifying more than 10,000 partner engineers per year on the latest technologies and transformational services and solutions so that you can deliver real value to our joint customers. And we're digitally transforming channel enablement by drastically simplifying and enhancing Sales Central. That's the feedback you've given us, and that's what we're delivering. These are just a few of the things that we're doing to help you create new opportunities in today's changing market. You see, the rapid pace of change, we believe, is only going to accelerate as we move forward. But we shouldn't be afraid of change. We should take that change and turn it to opportunity. Opportunity to innovate, opportunity to go faster, to overtake our competition and be aggressive as we deliver services and solutions to our customers. Competitors are frankly distracted right now. Whether it's Dell and EMC who just last week uh, completed their regulatory approval, that deal is going to go ahead. This is two big, huge organisations having to come together, massive portfolio, different cultures. This is not an easy thing to do. In fact, it's the opposite of what HP Corporation did by separating and focusing, and you're seeing all the things that we're benefiting from by separating. So they're distracted. Lexmark's being acquired. Xerox going through their own separation. Lenovo, frankly, distracted fixing their mobile and server businesses. What you're telling me, as I meet with all of you, is that we are the pillar of strength in the industry right now, and you're exactly right. We're focused, and as a proof point this morning, we're doubling down on our core business and creating growth opportunities for all of us. We're accelerating to capture opportunity both for today as well as in the future, because opportunity equals growth potential. But with so much change, where do we focus, and how do we create opportunity to capture that growth? Well, I think the answer here lies always in the market trends and the opportunities. And there are several disruptive forces we see changing the market. The largest trend, I believe, influencing today uh, inside the channel and more broadly in the marketplace is this blending between the consumer and the commercial worlds. They're coming together and that's leading to this consumerization of IT. Secondly, it's all about millennials. For you, millennials are the IT decision makers of today, and they're the future executives of tomorrow. By 2025, these guys would have accumulated more than $8.3 trillion in wealth and represent 75% of the workforce. Millennials are not an age or a group. They're more a way of thinking, of working and acting they want outcomes and experiences, not just products and services that are capable of getting the job done. The third market trend we see is all around mobility and security. These are changing everything and the way that markets will work in the future. Mobility exploded several years ago in the consumer space, but I think the real opportunity, certainly for all of us, is in the application in the commercial space. 73% of CIOs believe that mobility will have a more profound impact on their business than the internet did. That's a big, bold statement. Opportunity here is to transform workflows. It's not just about devices, it's about workflows. And in order to get that done, we're going to need to pair what we have together with what you can provide, put it together, and transform industries. Think about hospitals of the future. Think about how airlines will run in the future, how a pharmaceutical company or an insurance company or a retail store or a classroom will work in the future. These paper processes of the past will make way to much more efficient 
digital mobile processes, all enabled through mobile technology. You need to leverage our sales force. We've built four key verticals in healthcare, education, field selling, and retail point of sale. Similarly, security is a disruptive force, no doubt about it. The number, the intensity, the cost, the sophistication of the threats and the hacks are all on the increase. It's an ongoing battle against the bad guys. Security starts with protection for data and devices right at the edge, and we know that, and that's where we're focusing. The fourth is this trend is everything as a service. We're accelerating a shift to service-led and transformational-led motions. You're likely seeing your, transaction, your transactional business in decline. In the next few years, we see pure transactional business declining globally. Services nearly doubling, and transformational-led businesses quadrupling. Partners are embracing contractual service-led business models. It started with our managed print services business. We're moving it to device as a service. In the future, we will have everything as a service. Last night, I was with a partner, and they said, are you going to do service as a service? I said, that's pretty interesting. I have to think and wrap my head around that. But uh, you know, I guess so. Systems integrators are leading the charge, expanding transformational-led businesses, and I think that's a, a very large opportunity given the quadrupling size. The last disruptive trend is a trend we call blended reality. Blended reality is our vision of a seamless physical and digital world. Blended reality introduces this virtual productivity cycle with productivity and creation, where inputs like immersive computing and outputs like 3D printing are all seamless and intuitive. We just started rolling out our 3D multi-jet fusion printers. We're focused on the short run production space and prototyping. It's a really exciting time. We have a massive ability to change the economic equation in the way manufacturing is is conducted in a way that really, frankly, hasn't changed since Henry Ford rolled off the Model T on the assembly line back in 1908. We believe that we are on the cusp of triggering the next